Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Dealers Prime Review channel. Today we're going to be trying to do an all-in-one review of the Shimi X8 tablet PC. Now Shimi, it's called Shimi in Chinese and this is CI, so Shimi. But it's basically Shimi. Um, this is a new brand. So this is our first time ever doing a review of the Shimi tablet PC. As you can see here it has phone calling, 3G, WCDMA. And uh, we're just going to show you the accessories, the accessory boxes over here, the actual build of the unit. We'll also show you the free YouTube promo gift. Then we'll power this unit on and then uh, connect to Wi-Fi and then, uh, hopefully just do an in-depth review. Show you the pre-installed apps, then do some web browsing. Before we get started though, make sure to like our video. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And with that, let's get started. <laughs> So here uh, again it's Shimi and then uh, you can see it's phone calling tablet or phablet and the built-in 3G WCMA. Here you can see that it also has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, wi email and it's Android 4.2.2. In the back it just uh, says Shimi. So a uh, pretty simple packaging. You can tell it's a Ricky, Ricky effort. <laughs> so Shimi. And this is my first time looking at this tablet. Uh, we just got it from the Shimi factory. So uh, bear with me. So right off the bat we can see that it's a 7.9 inch tablet. Plastic case. It says X8 down here in the corner. Dual speakers. Charger port. Looks like uh, this is the SIM card slot here at the bottom. And then uh, there's a micro SD card slot here. Oh no, so slim is at the top. Okay, so full size SIM at the top. And then the bottom is the micro SD card. Okay. And volume up, volume down, hold. This looks like it could be a pinhole reset button. We'll have to see what uh, that says. Uh, power on. Power on button here. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Okay, and it's actually already powered on. So uh, I'll power this off because I want to see. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna change it to English. Deals Prime. We always uh, make sure to uh, fully test the units and also change the language to English. But uh, sometimes after factory reset, uh, it gets changed to Chinese. So we'll restart the unit now. And while that's doing that, we'll uh, reboot. While we're doing that, we'll just check out the accessories. Okay, so uh, we'll just we'll include the guarantee card, even though guarantees uh, it comes with a one-year warranty. What says Shimi right there? Shimi X8. That's what I wanted to see. We fully test units before shipping, so there should no be not be any problem with the warranty. There are also extended warranties inside the product. Uh, accessories options and uh, we'll just uh, check out the accessories box it comes with uh, a USB cable slash charger cable so uh, you can use this to uh, connect to this wall charger it's rated at uh, 5 volt 2, 2 milliamp 2000 milliamp and uh, if you actually if you're in the UK, Australia, or uh, or Europe, it'll come with your country's power plug adapter free, only from uh, Dios Prime. And there's also a OTG cable, so you can use this to connect um, a keyboard case to it, a USB hub, mouse, keyboard. Um, it has 3G built in, uh, maybe a 3G dongle, anything that you want that has USB. And uh, there is a free YouTube promo gift. If you order from uh, Deals Prime, you can get a free neoprene case, $10 value. Only catch is that during checkout, you need to ask us to please include the free YouTube promo case or the free YouTube neoprene case. And uh, we'll know to ship it out. If you do not ask for it inside the order notes uh, section during checkout, we will not know to uh, include it. Okay, so now that 
we have this baby powered on, we show you all the accessories, the free gift, the build of it. Actually, there's a camera here and a camera on the back, so dual cameras. We'll just go a little bit more in depth and uh, connect to Wi-Fi. While we're connecting to Wi-Fi, though, we will not. We don't want to show you our password, so. Uh, While we're doing this, we'll just uh, connect and then uh, you can again take this time to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, so it's connecting. Okay, it's connected. So awesome Wi Fi connection there. Okay, so let's go through the icons, then we'll go through the settings and depth. And then we'll do some web browsing. And uh, in the next review, we'll just do an Antutu benchmark just so we can uh, verify the specs on this baby. Okay. So, get a pan of one pen. So, it has a backup and restore, Google Local to do list, navigation. So, this is Google navigation, so it requires uh, uh, Wi Fi or 3G connection, which this has, it has built in 3G. Google Maps, Calculator, Gallery, Notebook, People, Sound Recorder, Calendar, Settings, User Guide, Video Player, FM Radio, so there's no videos, and, uh, and Tutu, uh, we're actually going to re-download this in uh, part, or uh, rerun this, uh, review in uh, this in uh, part 2 review, let's do a live and Tutu benchmark. And see what else it has. File manager, wireless device um, manager, downloads, camera, dual cameras, cell broadcasts, news and weather, messaging, voice search, Gmail, Google, Google settings, Google Talk, Play Store, email, and SIM card uh, manager, clock. So this has quite a few screen something. Okay, so that's not installed. So quite a few. Uh, things on here. Let's go to settings. Let's check out a little bit more in depth. It has Bluetooth. It's turned off though right now. Let's check out the storage. Last edit usage. The storage. So it looks like it has one gigabyte RAM. 862 megabytes free, 16 gigabytes ROM with 11.88 free. Okay, I need to find a navigation button on this. Uh, apps, we'll go in depth on that. Oh, there's a there's a navigation thing right here on the on the left. Uh, but check out the languages just for all of our international viewers. Again, you can take this time to we'll scroll through quickly. So uh, just uh, European and some uh, Asian languages. And then we'll check out about pad or about tablet. So this is an X8, Android 4.2.1. This was last updated on uh, May 21st, the firmware. And uh, let's just go in depth into uh, apps and then we'll do some web browsing. Okay, so uh, 335 megabytes are used, 638 megabytes are free, and uh, we'll just scroll through the apps real quick. Basic sleep mode apps, Bluetooth, browser, calculator, calendar, clock, contacts. So again, this has phone calling, FM radio, Gmail. HTML viewer. Google Maps, Music, MTDK Logger, Phone, Phone Messaging Storage, SMS Reg, Sound Recorder, Google Talk, User Guide, Video Player, Voice Unlock, Weather, Y GPS. So it has it has standalone GPS, which is awesome. Y GPS. Okay, now let's uh, do some uh, web browsing. We'll, uh, which is the fun part of the review and then uh, we'll get ready for uh, 
Then two two benchmark test. Okay, so here we can see that it has a nice uh, vivid screen. It has a 1024 by 768 IPS screen. So IPS screens, they basically have a really wide viewing angle, so you can clearly see it says uh, Bing right here, cnbing.com. Um, also, they're anti-glare, anti-sun. So anti-glare, so when you're under the sun, you can clearly see the screens. And uh, it's going to end to index there. Uh, we can go to msn.com. And uh, go to, we just go to Chinese site. So this is powered by a quad core MTK uh, 6589 uh, CPU. And uh, I'll go to MTV. So again, uh, you can clearly see uh, the you can see the MTV logo on the upper left really clearly. So uh, nice, uh, vivid uh, colors there. Yeah, we'll go to Deals Prime, and uh, once we're at Deals Prime, we'll just check out the uh, the specs. Uh, let's loading this one second, please. Hey, can I call you right back? I'm, I'm doing a review right now. Okay. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. So we we'll just uh, we're on the we're just now on the on the mobile version. But if you're on the uh, regular version, then uh, you can just type in see me see me x9 and uh, it'll, it'll auto populate. <coughs> well, see me X9 X8 sorry guys there we go okay so here it is and uh, 3G GPS MTK 6589 CPU running at uh, 1.2 gigahertz 8 megapixel camera on the back it doesn't say anything about the front camera so we'll have to do a, we'll probably do a N22 benchmark in, uh, in part 2 so uh, yeah it's uh you can go to the screen res the IPS screen was 1024 by 768 pixel resolution so yeah I mean this is looks like it's a it's, it, Shimi is they're they're trying to enter the market and looks like this is a going to be a nice powerful tablet. We'll see what Antutu gets in uh in our next review. Make sure to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll be right back with Antutu. Thanks for watching.